All right, y'all, thank you. If you found video number two, there is a link between the videos for video one and two. It switched my storage to the phone instead of to SD storage, which I never do, but it is what it is. Here we are with por portion number two. Um, so for you guys, yes, there is the energy of a lot of good luck here. Um, I'll go through your cards again since we're starting a secondary video. This is messages from your soul and spirit. We have new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. We have a reverse gemstone card here, aquamarine, courage, throat chakra here, number four. We have from my wildflower oracle, friendship. We have from the all weather phenomena oracle, air ice, defrost communication, reconnect, make a move. From the Norman, we have number 35, the anchor, number Number 33 the key and from tarot we have the ace of pentacles reverse and a cute little bee enjoying the garden was your option that you picked okay so what we have here for this group is the energy of you gaining gains okay and having luck now when the other video cut off we were talking about um language learning languages um kind of uh absorbing remembering and going into knowledge and opportunities from connecting with other cultures and overseas okay um so this is encouraging you to tap into those abilities so you could definitely be having some kind of remembrance of other languages now we're not talking about co-opting or appropriating never that on my channel and saying oh I was this, this culture in past life, so I can just take whatever I want from this culture and kind of walk around in brown face or whatever. Look, spoiler alert, that's not how I read at all. That's not the message our souls would give us. But this is talking about maybe you remember, you know, having picked up a certain language or something like that, and you'll actually have a skill set in picking it up. It could also be higher educational things. So maybe you were like a math whiz um, in past lives. For example, that's how I'm really good at astrology. I just remembered it, even though I grew up very restricted. Um, just remembered astrological things and I could think in astrology even though I didn't have maybe the terms handed to me this lifetime until a little bit into my uh, youth there <laughs> and then it was like click 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 I got it very quickly um, so you guys have some kind of skill set there uh, where you like it's like bring it up to you and you will very quickly connect the dots because you have some soul experience with it um, whether it be a language or you know some a college course or something like this some kind of skill set there that you experienced it so there's almost like this soul muscle memory that you can link into and your body's gonna be like how do I know how to do this so it's really really cool we have the anchor here and we have the key this really shows that things that have been blocked and kind of weighed down and that you haven't been able to open right now those doors are opening so if you're feeling a little discouraged with something this shows delayed opportunities the aces are still positive when they're reversed okay we just need to grab them in hands a little bit like ah make sure we grab it as they're falling from the sky right the spirit world is dropping blessings we are like running with our basket <laughs> trying to catch it as it falls right put it in our pocket um so you definitely have the energy here being able to do that i'm noticing the four is reversed and if you've seen the glyph of jupiter it looks like that <laughs> it looks like the number four so yeah getting balanced with your jupiter energy is the call of your reading and finding the harmony with jupiter and neptune in your natal chart is what we're really going for with this when i'm filming this we have jupiter and taurus and we have neptune and pisces retrograde if that helps your energies a little bit but yeah look at your ninth house and your 12th house and your jupiter and your neptune in your astrology it will let you know um things about your expansion it will let you know things about your spirituality your soul talents um where your spiritual education is really wanting to focus at and where your luck lies when you look at jupiter okay so back to the throat chakra thing. This says you guys have good friends. You have soul friends in this realm. You're not just going to be like the loneliest person ever if you thought so. You absolutely have soul friends that are here. As a matter of fact, you might need to realize sometimes that somebody is not a romantic option. They are a soul friend and they're meant to be a friend this lifetime. That can be confusing. I, I noticed that, um, you know, doing spiritual reads and work for a while, that people tend to feel like if there's a soul connection, like a soul buzz with someone, it has to be romantic. And I've definitely experienced where I've met a lot of soul friends, but they just could not, like there was that possessiveness, like, no, if I feel a connection with you, it has to be romantic. It didn't matter the gender or whatever, right? And so that kind of ruined the connection because you're like, no, like, just like, 
let us let us be friends let us grow and thrive together right so be aware of that there's people that you're gonna have a phenomenal connection with and they're meant to be amazing friends loving supporters um and you they uh, as well okay so try to be open to that as much as possible it's important to have a variety of you know love that we feel this could show in your 11th house that will show a type of friends it'll show you the style of your friends that you're calling in are they rebels do you have like an aries on your 11th house do you have cancer there so you got a lot of mom friends <laughs> whatever it is okay check out your 11th house your soul really wants to make sure that you feel loving, loving support from your friends okay it's really important to your spirit um here though it says uh, some of you maybe you've had some falling out with friends or you just are maybe shy or very introverted um or something of that nature there could be something here where either you're the extrovert and friends are introverted or vice versa so you kind of miss each other in communication and they're saying open that door again if you had a time you needed to heal or isolate or you were out doing adventuring and partying whatever it is and you kind of missed uh, communication styles with your friend this is saying go ahead and defrost that communication there's still these beautiful rainbow colors here it's definitely time to reconnect and make a move as long as everybody has good energy there's no reason that we can't reconnect so if you just feel a little awkward because you're like yeah like three years ago i just didn't get back to that frank so i was out traveling and now i feel awkward i don't know if they still want to be my friend um this looks like a yes especially if they are an aquarius a pisces or a sagittarius and you have some good intentions we also have earth signs here capricorn taurus virgo we have air signs here libra gemini aquarius okay so we have a lot of good signs here i'm also getting some leo here yeah with all this gold and bees and buzzing and this golden key over here um when it comes to work this looks great too because we have the eight of diamonds with the ace of diamonds yes your spirit crew is trying to help you be successful your spirit wants you to believe that and know you are not again supposed to be a lonely island you are having this ace of pentacles money abundance finance being dropped to you all right you definitely have financial um vibrations being elevated yes we need that and coming out of fear here it looks like some of you have dealt with some depressive times let's be honest with that you don't have to be ashamed if you've gone through something and it was making you feel down and sad or if you know maybe you deal with something clinically um that is there and it's it's hard you know something that you just work with um throughout your life so whether it was a more temporary situation or some kind of long term that you're going through different things with your emotions and your mental health this is saying there's still an open door there's some relief there's some healing there's some excitement coming towards you and they want you to be able to feel that and believe in it when it comes. <clears throat> the big thing they always say fortune and opportunity needs to meet preparation or we at least need to be able to see and believe it right keyword for both Sagittarius and Pisces especially Pisces is belief you need to be able to believe in good luck and opportunities when they come or you'll never take that option it's like you get asked out by your soulmate but you don't believe you said mm, they're playing with me whatever and you walk away <laughs> I feel like this group you kind of you're on the edge of that so I want to push you here with this jupiter sagittarian energy like yeah luck is on my side that's right you would come and ask me out because i i got good things to offer right i believe in myself i support myself my friends support me that's right let me take this opportunity right and you write down your soulmate's number okay that's where we're trying to get you at not to be so shy or so misunderstanding maybe of um why other people would love to connect with you and this also goes with business it looks like in business maybe sometimes um you get overwhelmed by people being drawn to you but then at the same time, you can feel like this lonely island. It kind of gives me a Scorpio moment too, like Scorpio Capricorns. They have that energy. They know they're very enigmatic. They know that they're very charismatic and that they draw people to them. But they're also like hello suspicious of people being drawn to them. Like, what do you want? <laughs> so for this group, it's saying to allow yourself to know that you can be safe and protected. That they're, again, good people, good clientele, um, good business connects, good coworkers, good bosses, good friends, good mentors, teachers, and professionals professors are here and they're like soul assigned so you'll have that teacher where you're like whoa i'm just meant to take this class this is phenomenal it's exactly what i needed moving forward okay but yes we have an ace of pentacles 
helping you become a nice nine of pentacles. Ooh, a nice of pentacles. Okay. Hey, um, nine of pentacles is secure and stable, flourishing, um, finances taken care of, all the benefits that you need, savings taken care of, everything. The only thing you need to get to the ten of pentacles is just sharing that with another person if you choose. So you basically are completely self-fulfilled. And that is where your spirit is trying to take you. You are not meant to suffer lack, depression, isolation at all. Your soul is wanting you to sing. Let's go ahead and put this up right to you and do a little oracle alchemy here so that we can get you receiving your ace of pentacles. Yes, this little bee will be happy here. It said buzz, buzz. <laughs> um, allow you to get the fruits of your labor here. Allow you to amplify your voice and your creativity, your knowledge. Uh, share your voice with the world and be willing and able to hear friendship and love and support and good kudos for uh, hard work well done the spirit world knows that some of the labor you've put in and effort has been emotional and spiritual and still wants to make sure you get paid for that okay i feel i feel like you guys have really good luck good karma coming in as well so beautiful things that your spirit and soul wants you to know this is what i'm seeing for you thank you again for coming to the second video and i know you guys got a, a little bit of extra time because we went longer <laughs> since we had an additional video so i hope you enjoyed please like share subscribe and comment and i'll talk to you again on another one bye oh i saw one four three and that means i love you here from your spirit which is so precious bye